Hello, my friends, and welcome back to The Long Dark on our Interloper playthrough. This is episode 61. I'll die if I don't drink soon. And we're currently in the Hush River Valley. We're actually pretty high up. I think we're pretty high up on in the mountains here. Let's collect our uh, sleeping bag and head over here. Okay. Uh, this morning I would like to continue our exploration. I'm kind of interested in our weight situation. Uh, but I'm actually... I, I'd be just fine if we left this cave behind today. If we don't come back here. So I, I may want to just bring everything with us. Uh, oh, I got a candy bar. Let's go ahead and eat that. I want to try to keep our... Uh, I want to try to keep our hunger meter as full as we can. Um, I'm going to try to keep it above the quarter mark. Um, obviously, in the last episode, I lost our well-fed bonus because I just wasn't paying attention. And Astra got hungry, um, and we lost our well-fed bonus. So I'm going to try to keep her nice and full. And hopefully, in this episode, we'll regain that... Uh, well fed bonus. So we're down to 12. We'll get down to 10 cattails here. And did I leave any cattails in here? I don't think I did. No. Um, I do want to bring these acorns with us. I want to leave them somewhere where we could actually have access to them in the future. I think uh, this, this cave we're in right now is pretty remote. And somebody made me feel a lot better about uh, hoarding all these rose hips. Um, 140 something rose hips, it only equals about six cups of tea. So I feel a lot better about that. I just have to harvest them up actually, get them cooked into the tea or prepared as rose hips. I think that would save a lot on weight as well. Uh, we'll grab these guys. It's a lot of rose hips. You know, I also haven't checked our clothing recently. I would imagine some of our clothing is probably getting down in condition. Let's take a look at our clothing here. Um, we'll look at this view here. Okay, 82% on our bear coat, 72 on the pants, 72 on the boots. So I might want to, yeah, and the underwear. Underwear is getting kind of low in condition as well. So you know, let's let's head back where it's warm in here, and uh, I can try to get those up in condition. Ooh, I am kind of worried about the time of day. I don't want to. I don't want to waste the uh, the day doing repairs. Um, you know, I might just do a couple. We'll just do the essentials, like the uh, the underwear here. So let's see if we can get these up. Twenty five minutes. All right, let's go for it. It seems like sewing is one of the the uh, skills that takes the longest to uh, to level up. So 25 minutes, actually not too bad. Nice. Okay, our hat is getting kind of low as well. Okay, I'm gonna call that good for now. Like the weather is really not too great today. You know, we do have 12 torches. I should probably probably drop some of those. Let's sort by condition here. Okay, these other ones look okay. All right, we've got an island in the middle here. I wouldn't mind just walking around that. Uh, now there is a chance that we could stumble across the moose. We keep seeing moose sign. I haven't heard of moose. 
or uh, seen one, but you know, there could be one right here on the island. So I'm going to give him plenty of room if he's here. I'll try to listen. Try to listen for the moose as well. Yeah, do we have any acorns here? Yeah, I don't hear anything. Is there any loot on this island? I do have some cattails. So I think my main objective for exploring uh, Hush River Valley is I, I do want to make it to the, the uh, mysterious signal fire. We keep seeing a fire in the distance. I'd like to make it over there, um, but it's kind of this. This whole territory is kind of like a maze, and uh, you know I'm not familiar with it, so it's kind of a puzzle trying to figure out how to wind our way over to the signal fire. And we'll see what's over here. It's like we might have a body. Plaid shirt, okay. We could use the cloth. Take a couple sticks here. Got some more moose markings up ahead. And that tree right in the center. If I if I make a fire up here pretty soon, we're getting we're getting pretty cold, so I'm going to end up making a fire. Um, so all these sticks I'm picking up are really going to help to get the temperature up. Every stick we pick up is a degree of warmth on the fire. The weather is not ideal, but I can't complain because at least we can see where we're going and uh, the wind isn't too strong. Okay, hey, we got some ptarmigans up ahead. And we recently made some new um, fire hardened arrows. So here's our chance. Let's see if I can get up around these guys. Get closer. It's nice we can crouch and shoot. We got two down. What's this guy doing? One left. Got them all. Okay, we are very smelly now. Probably attracting wolves. Did I pick up all of them? Three, where's the fourth one? Did I miss him? There he is. Man, I could use a drink. We'll get you a drink, Astrid. Let's pick up some of these sticks. 
I'd like to find a cave. You know, weather is changing. Oh, we got a deer carcass over here. Okay, this isn't looking good. Um, and I don't have, you know, I'm going to drop the smelly stuff because I do not have a flare. Let's look around, see if we can find some kind of shelter over here. Definitely have a uh, full-on blizzard now. Okay, I've got some protection right here. So I think I'll make a fire. We'll get some tea cooking. Let's see how close we can get to this guy. Pensive Vista. Out here, if the if the wind changes though, that's going to be a problem. But we'll try it. Um, let's go ahead and get this started. One little fire. All right, let's check out the temperature. Negative 13. I'm going to put a coal on here. So we can get that temperature to come up. Um, let's grab our ptarmigans. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Okay, we are warming up finally. That's nice. Um, let's harvest up the meat. How much time was on that? 21 minutes? Okay, perfect. Let's, uh, let's grab this guy's meat. Okay, well that's cooking. I want to get down here and see if we can get the hide off of this guy. 28 minutes. Okay, fire shifted. Um, how much meat was on him? Eight kilograms. Let's drop some tea. See if I can get these warm before we have to get out of here. Seven minutes. Yeah, we should we should be able to get a tea out of that. And then we'll just head back to our cave. Drink our tea. Um, do we want to? Yeah, you know, I'm already smelly. We'll take these with us.
Is the visibility lifting? Oh, nice. Okay, visibility's lifting. And uh, wind has died down. I'm gonna get a torch out. We might have a cave over here. I'm hearing sounds like noises and stuff. Let's check in this cave. Oh, that's perfect. Just what we needed to drop our items here. Got some coal. Okay, let's drop all the smelly stuff. And I'm gonna drop this deer hide as well. We got, probably have a few things that need to cure. We got the deer hide, and I've got some saplings. I keep forgetting to drop those. Okay, let's have a look around the cave. Okay, temperature is actually not too bad. Um, inside the cave here, it feels pretty good. Outside temperature, let's see what it's like out here. It's gonna be real cold, isn't it? Negative 10. So we'll get some tea cooking. What else can I drop as well? If I want to have a look around, I'll drop the firewood over here. Okay, we also picked up some clothing, right? Plaid shirt. Let's get a fire going. Now let's do it right here. Get our meat cooking. There it is. You got twenty five minutes. Yeah, these ptarmigans are proving to be very um, easily accessible now. I was so... When I first came across ptarmigans in this game, I thought they were really difficult. Um, but with our bow and uh, hardened arrows, they're actually turning out to be pretty useful and pretty easy to get. Got two minutes. Okay, did I get all the meat? Seems like I missed one. Zero on that one. Okay, we did get all the meat. Okay, let's pick that up, we'll get some meat cooking again. 
Let's take that and harvest it. Yeah, I think we are doing pretty good for ptarmigan feathers as well. 23. 23 ptarmigan down. That's plenty. Uh, I probably don't need to harvest up any more of the feathers. Water's looking pretty good. I probably could make up some more tea. left. And I kind of want to just get moving. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Grab that. You know, I'm going to leave. Should I leave some stuff here? No. We'll drop some tea though. Okay, there's a good chance we'll be making our way back to this cave, depending on what happens here, but I want to head out. I'll leave the meat here. I do want to do want to take the deer hide if possible. Weather's not too bad. You know, let's just have a look around. It is getting late. This is risky, you know, heading out and don't know where we're going. Uh, but as much as I can, I just want to keep moving. This is such a big territory. And it seems like where you just make it a short distance and then the weather sets in and we got a camp so as much as possible I want to just keep pushing on get to a new location this is interesting okay I can hear waterfall I would like to begin heading down to lower elevations. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Okay, I've got a waterfall or something here. Oh yeah. It's 
seems like lately, this time of night has been the best time to travel. It seems like during the day, the uh, the weather turns bad for some reason. Right about the time you'd think it'd be good to travel and explore. Okay, I can hear the wolves. Just gotta be careful there. We're not smelly. Okay, I'm gonna drink another tea before I forget. Okay, I'm gonna try this lake, or the, not lake, this, uh, this river. Hey, Wolfie. Oh, you're down here with me, okay. Do you have any cattails? I'm gonna peek over the edge here and see if it's possible for us to descend. I got some berries, that's a good sign. Rose hips. It looks like we can. It looks like we can drop down here. Okay. Alright, come on, Wolfie. I want you to leave us alone here. So come on over. We'll scare you away. No, go that way. Go that way. No. There you go. Hey guys, I'm getting low on uh, rose hips here. Better grab these. We're getting pretty low. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, it's nice we got to climb here. That that shows me we're meant to be able to come down here. Don't see any cattails. Now the question is. Um, do we keep going down or does this lead somewhere? I'd like to look over the edge here and see what this place looks like. The weather seems to be holding up pretty well. Looks like we have another climb and some rose hips. We'll just shimmy down. Oop. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to get the berries. Girl's hips. Okay, I got some bushes. Ooh, can we get around this? No, I don't want to. I don't want to get where I'm going to get stuck here. How long does it take to break down these? Twenty-three minutes. Oh man. Okay. I want to make a fire. Come on, little fire. All right, we put out our torch.
That should be alright there. Let's cook some water as well. Okay, let's break down one of these. Oh, we're getting cold. Um, I'm gonna drop some tea. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. And ooh, it's right in the fire. <laughs> Both of them. Both of them are right in the fire. Okay, we should be able to get through here now, right? Yeah, yeah, we can get through there. That was a pretty lousy torch. Okay, let's drink one of these teas. Actually looks really nice now. There's our signal fire we're trying to get to. Oh, we got some saplings. Oh, we got another cave. like this will be our cave for the night. I was able to get a little bit tired. Oh, sure getting cold. What time is it? Oh, it's just about the time to go to sleep. Do a quick look around here. There's our signal fire. All right, let's head in the cave. Ooh, looks like a, this is a, an internal cave. Okay, nice. Ice cave, Hush River Valley. Okay, so that means if we're in the internal cave system, we've got to be so careful. I'm, um, I've heard of people coming across a wolf in these caves. Uh, Sketchy the wolf. Sketchy the wolf haunts these caves and he has ruined <laughs> quite a few people's runs, I, I understand. It's pretty vicious. And uh, because of the nature of this cave, all twisty and turny like this, I think uh, I think it's possible just to surprise him. So I want to be so careful. We'll try to make our way through the cave system here. I'm going to drop some sticks as well. So we just came to a dead end here. And I'm going to drop 
some sticks, I think, to try to kind of guide us. So I don't get lost. Alright, can't even see it though. Let's see if I can get it somewhere prominent. And torch is almost out. How many stones do we have? I got two stones, okay. You know, it's kind of nice that the signal fire is, it appears to be on the southern side, which is actually probably closer to the way we want to go to exit the Hush River Valley. So as we're making our way through the cave system here, we're actually kind of making our way home. You know, back uh, back the way we want to go when we're done with the cave system or when, when we're done with Hush River Valley. Just checking for any kind of loot. I don't see any. Okay, I've got another junction here. I'm gonna drop another stick. And we'll point uh, up that way. I'm gonna check here first and then we'll swing back and go up that direction. This might be a dead end. Guys hear that? We have got a wolf on our hands, guys. I can hear him. Come on, little fire. Oh. Guys, I think we might we might have to kill this wolf. I don't know of any way to get around him. Where are you, wolf? Gosh. All right, we are going to go for it. It's kind of a shot in the dark there. He turned. All right, come on. Got to remember to get our arrow. Did I get him? Let's get a new torch. Man, he is mad. I did get him. We got blood. Could just let him bleed out. Yeah, he's mad. We might be stuck here. Let's grab our arrow. All 
Alright, Sketchy, what's your move? Yeah, I think he's stuck here, guys. You know, I'm just going to chuck this. Let's just chuck it. Um, got plenty of fuel. Now I'm going to chuck a torch back there. It's so hard to see. There we go. Oh, he just died. Sketchy is no more. Ooh, wow. Okay. Well, it's kind of a convoluted way to go about getting sketchy, but uh, I just wanted to play it safe. Look at him glitching in the wall like that. Okay. How are we going to do this? I guess I could just harvest him. We're nice and warm here. And then we've got this glow cave right here. So I'm going to harvest him. And we'll bring his uh, meat and everything in the, in the glow cave over there. You know, I might just make a fire over here. So I hate to use another match. I think this is where we're going to spend the night. So we, uh, I'm going to make a fire here, and then we'll go harvest him up. Man, it's so beautiful here. Looks amazing. Okay, let's make a fire right here. Okay, we got two hours on there. Let's go harvest him up. Get the wolf hide as well. And possibly it's just ten minutes for the guts. I'm not gonna be ten minutes each. Much longer. Let's just grab them both. Okay, thank you, Sketchy. We put him put him completely to use. Alright, let's get our lantern out. We fully used all of Sketchy. Thank you, Sketchy. Let's see, now we go this way. Kind of a cool view right there. I really like the uh, the lighting effects in these caves. It looks really cool. Okay, we got a fair amount of meat off of that.
Okay, I'm going to drop our sticks and hides. Otherwise, I'm going to forget. I know I will. I always do. Okay, I'll put those there. Put the sticks right here. Okay, possibly tonight after we sleep, we might have the well fed bonus. I can't remember exactly um, how long that's going to take us. Let's get a drink. We got 52 minutes on the fire. Now I saw some sticks back here. Let's see how long it takes to harvest these up. We're at seven minutes. All right. Oh, it requires light, okay. Let's see here, Let's sort by condition. And we'll harvest up some of these. Yeah, I feel a lot better walking through these caves knowing Sketchy's gone. Uh, but I do believe he might respawn after a time. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I think he might. Just because you kill him, he doesn't mean he's gone for the entire playthrough. He could come back at a future date. I do believe. Okay, one thing I am looking forward to is a 10 hour sleep. I can't remember the last time we had a 10 hour sleep. Okay, let's harvest up some of our uh, rose hips. Okay, let's do another rose hip. Okay, fire's just about out. Uh-oh. I'm getting some lag here, guys. I gotta hurry and get to sleep. Okay, we'll call that good. I'll let the water finish out. And I'm gonna hurry and get to sleep. Make sure I drink up first. See you in the morning. Okay, we healed up pretty well, I think. Stop there. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful ice cave. Now that we got some daylight shining through here. Oh, man. I really like this. I would love to explore an ice cave in real life. You know, like under a glacier. I've seen some pictures. Just look amazing. Okay. Guts. I'm going to... I think we'll leave the guts here. You know, now that I talk about it, I think I will bring them because there should not be any predators in the cave now. So I'll bring them with us, but I'm going to drop them probably near the entrance to uh, 
to the cave wherever we exit and we'll, we'll just leave them curing there. We'll finish up our scruffy dinner here. I think we did complete all the meat there. Take that. Uh, you know, I'll take some charcoal. I don't know how much charcoal we have at the moment. Four pieces. Okay, not too bad. And how about our well-fed bonus? Are we back? No, we're not back yet. I One thing I wish they would show is how close we are. It would be real nice if it said somewhere, uh, you know, how close you are to getting the well-fed bonus. How much time has passed, I, I guess I should say. You'll take the deer hide. Yeah, we'll take that with us. Um, probably end up dropping it. This looks amazing. I can hear some wind. Okay. It's getting kind of dark. So we've got a dead end. I was hoping we could come across some more coal. Oh, I've got another chamber here. The rope climb. Okay, that's going to be a problem because I'm heavy. You know, I might light our lantern just so I can see a little better in here. Oh, hey, we got a bedroll. Yeah, let's light our lantern. I don't want to miss anything. Okay, we've got a bedroll, which we don't need. Nobody needs this anymore. Fire starting book. We will literally use that book to start a fire. Dog food. We haven't seen that for a long time. Matches. Oh, nice. That's uh, one of the best treasures we can find at this point. We don't really need a hacksaw. We got so many. That's 90% though. That might be better than than what we have. To have a piece of coal. Try to do a thorough look around. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Now I've heard that you can find. Um, brass shells, even on interloper, but they're kind of glitchy and usually invisible. I don't know if that's here in this room that you find them, but I wouldn't mind grabbing one just so we could make a fishing lure out of a uh, spent shell. Looks like that's about it for the uh, loot in this room, unless I missed something. Okay, so we got a rope climb here. Let's put our lantern out. And now I've got to decide what we're going to bring with us. So let's go through methodically here. I do definitely want to bring the coal. I'm going to leave the books. You know, somebody else can start a fire with that. We don't need the books. What else do we have here? Teas, we'll bring those. All those rose hips. Did I? Oh, those are the those are prepared roast hips. Okay. Uh, I remembered I had like 140 or something of the, the other ones. Okay, clothing-wise, we should be good for clothing. We do have some water. Oh, we got we do have a little bit of meat here. 0 0.32 kilograms. Are we hungry enough to eat that? I mean, we could try. Just about gone. Okay, I've got some lantern fuel. Let's refill our lamp. Okay. Okay, so we've got two hacksaws. Let's drop the 90% hacksaw. Can harvest this up. Okay, let's 
sort of alphabetically. And then all really all we have left are the uh, natural resources. Can drop a bunch of those. How heavy are we? So we're at 49 out of 40. Oh, we got to get rid of a lot. Okay, so we'll drop that. Drop that to cure. Forty six kilograms. You know what? I might I'm trying to think what I want to do here. I might want to make two trips. Because a lot of the stuff I want to bring with us as we leave the Hushed River Valley. I don't really care about the hides so much, but these sticks here, I do want to come back for those. I don't know if we can even get lightweight here. So we're down to 44. Let's drop our meat. Oh, I thought I just... wait. Oh, it's guts. Okay, I see. Yeah, let's drop those. Those will weigh 1.52 kilograms. I'm curious if we harvest those up, what that would uh, leave us with. Also, I'm I'm also curious if we can climb. Are we even able to climb when we're heavy? I think it just won't let us. Right? It just flat out says you're too heavy. All right, let's see how long it takes to harvest these guys up. It's probably going to take some time. So I might leave some of them. So we've got reishi mushrooms, prepared rose hips. Let's just craft these guys up. We're nice and safe in here. So, you know, now that we have light, I also might want to prepare some of our clothing. Let's go to the view here and see our clothing items. Okay, those are good. We just repaired those. I need deer skin for that and those. We could repair that. I'll wait till it's 70%. Underwear, we could fix those. 87%. They're actually looking not too bad. The hats I'm always concerned about and my underwear I'm always concerned about. Let's make sure our good underwear is on the outside. So we're going to switch these. So we'll put the lesser quality on the inside just to kind of get protection. Okay, I'm going to finish crafting up as much as I can. So we should only have like six or seven of these to craft up. Uh, let's get some water. Okay, let's keep crafting. Just want to get rid of all these rose hips and uh, make them into prepared rose hips. There we go. We're done. All those rose hips are gone now. It's really good. And we are getting lightweight as we're doing this. Getting rid of a lot of material there. Okay, so now we are back to 44 kilograms. I did pick up all that water as well, which is 1.7 kilograms. Okay, we got cloth, leather. Got two leather. Yeah, I'm just trying to decide what. If we had our well fed bonus, it'd be no problem right now. We could just go right up, I think. Let's see, how much does our book weigh? 5.5 kil kilograms. Okay. 
Um, another thing we could do is I could sleep. You know, I'm going to drop our water. Or did I already do it? I already dropped it, didn't I? Yeah, so we're just 2 kilograms, 2.7 kilograms over now. Um, could drop some fire hardened arrows. And I could easily craft up some more of those. We have so many feathers, and sticks are plentiful. Uh, how many regular arrows do we have? We got six, six regular arrows. That's nice. I'm not gonna get rid of those. <laughs> those are amazing. Regular arrows are worth their weight in gold for sure. Okay. Uh, get rid of some torches. Down just 1.2 kilograms heavy now. Wait, how much was our cattails? Oh, 0.6. I don't want to get rid of those. I do have some tea we could possibly get rid of. And some coal. Yeah, I just don't want to get rid of anything. Get rid of some sticks. Point six kilograms. That's all we need to get rid of. Don't need that. So the rose hips are point four five. Ooh man, our uh, prepared burdock are pretty heavy actually. I can, I'm gonna eat some of these. Okay, just 0.2 kilograms. Get rid of the dog food. I'm gonna do it. Okay, we're lightweight now. And really the only thing I regret dropping is the, are the sticks here. Up, oh, just one stick even does it. Okay. Let those cure, possibly come back for them. I don't know. Let's keep exploring. Let's get up this rope. That's such a short climb, guys. I can't believe I stressed over that. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go grab our sticks after all that. <laughs> oh man, I was so stressed about this. You know, I just need to turn around and go get our sticks and that little easy peasy climb. I had no idea. Okay, that should be that should be enough for us just to drop down. Okay, I'm gonna take the dog food. Let's see how heavy we are after we pick up these. Yeah, I'll take the meat too. Um, of course, the arrows. And I'll take the deer hide. We still light? Nice. That's really all I care about. Um, I'll take one more, two, three. Yeah, we're still good. Three torches. We're still lightweight. All right, let's get up. I'm gonna leave these here. Nice, okay. Up we go. It's just such a short climb, you know? It's ridiculous how that is a total roadblock if you are heavy. Okay, that is everything, right? I do not want to leave anything back here. That was all really important stuff. Okay, nice. Yeah, this is, uh, this is somewhere where like what just happened there is a, a time where I wish you guys were live like uh, as a chat or you could say hey you know what that's a super easy climb why don't you just go up drop your stuff and come back down you know 
Um, that is one nice thing about uh, people who play live, you know, with, with a chat. I've thought about doing that. I don't know. Do you guys like watching live gameplay? I kind of like it, but that would be a huge uh, setup. I'd have to get a new computer for that. I think. Okay, we can turn that off. Just looking for coal. I can see one chunk. Looks like we got one last little lighted area. We can drop some of our stuff here to cure. Okay, nice. Let's get a drink. Hopefully the weather's good for us. Seems like this is the best time of time of night to uh, be exploring this time of day, just right before sunset and after set. Okay, Hush River Valley. Let's see if I can. Uh, is it going to let me map? Okay, nice. It's going to be cold. Okay, I'm going to avoid the rose hips. <laughs> we got plenty of rose hips. Um, does look cold. I may need to make a fire here. It's too bad I can't make a fire inside the cave. Only interior, no, only exterior caves can you make a fire in. Okay, we'll do a quick look around. Hopefully the weather will stay good for us. I've got a rope climb over there. Some acorns. Yeah, we'll take the acorns. I think they are a lot easier to miss later on. I don't know, maybe not. Now, is there acorns here? No acorns, okay. Just have a look around. Probably end up coming right back to that cave for the night. Um, but the more I can learn about this map, the better. I can make some better decisions in the morning when we decide which way to go. I do hear some wolves. another cave. Let's replenish our stick uh, stick pile. It's starting to feel numb. The sun is setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. Okay, we've got a wall of uh, brambles here. Can we just drop over them? Although I would probably want to get rid of them if we want to come back this way. Probably means we can't get back up this way, right? Yeah, I don't want to be stuck in a blizzard behind those. So I'm going to make a fire. We're cold anyway. Let's make a fire. Yeah, let's make a fire. Get some tea going. Uh, let's see here. What am I doing? Come on, little fire. And let's drop some tea. What's the temperature like? Oh, we just need one more stick. OK, 
Okay, hopefully that will keep us warm. I'll drop some um, I'll drop some tea after we get the pathway cleared here. Okay, let's get some tea cooking up. Here, I'm just gonna cook some cook some fresh tea. Okay, blizzard is incoming. Okay, let's see if it will let us continue exploring. Is it a cave? No. Oh, guys, I was hoping this was the uh, signal fire. I think we found it. Do we have some shelter here? Is that a cave? If that's a cave, we're in really good shape. Okay, nice. I think we do have a cave here. Um, I'd like to see, you know, I, I'm worried about my torch blowing out. I better get a fire started and then we can go look around. Let's save our fire. Okay, nice. Looks like we got some coal as well. I got two hours on there. Put that out. Okay, we'll leave some water cooking. And, uh, yeah, I'll use a torch. Alright, hopefully the wind doesn't prevent us from checking out this area. There might be some loot over by the signal fire. I'd like to see this in the day. I think visibility is really kind of poor right now. Oh, is that a rabbit? Got a rabbit. All right, let's see if I can drop my torch here. Got the rabbit. Is there any more rabbits? There's usually more than one, right? Okay, I'm gonna leave this rabbit on the rock right here. Are there any more rabbits? We got some saplings. OK, 
Okay. It's just so dark, it's hard to see. Mysterious signal fire. I'm not sure I can carry much more. There it is. Just kind of smoldering now, huh? I don't think it's putting off any heat. Looks like we have a rope climb. Okay, let's see, do we have any loot? Got some sticks, firewood. Got a uh, camp, okay, a little tent. What do we have here? Heavy hammer, okay. Perfect. We could harvest up our uh, acorns. We've got a whetstone. Those whetstones are becoming kind of scarce lately. Mackinac jacket. Oh, that's nice. I could have used that a long time ago. I don't know if, uh, I think what we have is probably better than the Mackinac right now. Could have really used that Mac Mackinac at the beginning of our playthrough. Got some peaches. And some uh, moose meat. Okay. Alright, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Is that the extent of our loot? I mean, it's good loot. I just don't want to miss any if we have any more loot. We can we can come over here and peek in the uh, in the morning when we have daylight. We can come and look around a little better. Is that some loot right there? There's a dead guy. He looks like he's been dead for a while. I don't think he's the guy who lit the fire. If he did light the fire, he should have stayed closer to it. Maybe that's the problem. So he wandered away from the fire. Sir, it's right over there. Your fire is right there. Nice. Okay, now I'm a little bit turned around. I think I need to go this way. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Okay, that's where we cut down the saplings. So our rabbit should be up here. On rabbit rock. Oh, hey, we got another rabbit. Okay. Um, let's drop our lit torch and get out our bow and arrow. Thank you, little rabbit. Rabbit Rock has come true, paid off. All right. Boy, I'm so glad we have a cave right here. I don't have to trek all the way back. Our fire should still be lit. I mean, we had, what, like two hours on there? Super heavy. Time of day. Oh, still a little bit early. A little bit early for bedtime. Let's 
check on our water. I bet the can has boiled off, but yeah. Okay, tin can boiled off. Water's just right, though. Okay, let's, uh, you know, I'll leave the can here. Let's get some more water going for the can. And we'll drop our rabbits. And we do have some meat. I forgot we got some moose meat. That'll be good. Cooked moose meat. Um, let's get these rabbits harvested up, though. Where our knife is getting kind of low on uh, condition, isn't it? We do have those whetstones, though. You know, I keep forgetting to use the saw. I gotta use the hacksaw instead of the knife. there. Let's add some fuel. And I'm going to drop the firewood. I don't think we'll actually bring this with us. Let's just use our sticks. Sounds like quite a storm out there. Let's cook some tea. Okay, that's it for crafting. Um, how are we doing for fire hardened arrows? We got four. Okay, so I might want to craft up some more. Which way are we facing? I can't even see out of this cave, it's so dark. How's our water situation? Oh, I got plenty of water. You know, I may as well cook some more. Um, is there anything we need to do before I sleep? Oh, there's the exit. Okay. Let's see. Is there anything we want to leave behind? Oh yeah, I was going to harvest up these guys. Fire hardened arrows. Nothing to drink. And a Mackinac jacket. Now, we could repair that up. I'm curious what the stats are on that. Fully, fully restored. I wonder if that competes at all with any of our other jackets. Two minutes till boiled. All right, I'll take I'm that. Pick that up. For much longer. How long to craft some fire hardened arrows? Uh, Forty-five minutes. All right, let's cook some water. May as well cook some water. We'll, we can leave it here behind.
Okay, nice. I think we are good to go for tonight. How many torches do we have? Sort by condition here. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, about three good ones. We'll maybe keep four of those. Oh, I gotta get a drink. Get a drink. Sorry, Astrid. Okay. We'll eat up before we go to bed. Let's harvest up some of these guys. Looks like the fire's going out. I think that's good. Mackinac jacket. Yeah, I'm not familiar with the stats on that. I know it's a good it's a good jacket to have. I think it is the best man-made jacket you can get on Interloper. It's just a, it's kind of a shame we found it at the very end of our kind of well, this isn't the end of our playthrough, but you know it's as far as leveling up everything, you know, we found it after we've already got all our, all of our, uh, can I eat that? Ruined moose meat, cooked. So does that mean, we, I guess I can't, can't eat it. Can I put it on the fire? Guess not. I guess that's just pretty much just worthless. Can I put it anywhere? Moose meat, where are we going to put you? How about right here? Okay. Okay, let's get our bed roll out. It should be fairly warm back in here. You know, I never picked up our coal. Definitely don't want to leave the leave the coal behind. All right, let's get a bed going here. Okay, we are gonna sleep in increments. I think. Let's get a drink. Sounds like the storm has passed. So that's good. All right, we're gonna sleep in increments of three hours. That's so a little bit risky. But uh, the storm just passed. Oh, here comes a new storm. Are we warm? I think we are. We're still warm. Okay, let's get another drink. Let's sleep for three more hours. got daylight. I'm gonna sleep three more hours. That should bring us back up to full health. And uh, looks like we have our uh, we have our well-fed bonus back. Nice we are fully rested and we got a well-fed back. Oh I'm so glad to see that. Alright guys, I think this is a great place to call it an episode. We managed to find the elusive, mysterious signal fire. And uh, got back our well-fed bonus. Got lots of loot from coming here to the Hushed River Valley. Been really impressed, actually. Um, all those matches we got. And we got, uh, we got the Mackinac jacket, which I probably will... I'm gonna try to fix that up, you know, at least at least just keep it around. I don't want it to despawn or anything. We'll fix up the Mackinac jacket, and I think we're about ready to head out of Hushed River Valley. Unless you guys know of more loot that I should go check out, 
I mean, I think we hit the, the major points of Hush River Valley. So with that, guys, thank you so much for coming along with me. I hope you enjoy the episode. I sure enjoy playing, and I uh, always appreciate you guys coming along. Even if, uh, even if you're a lurker, you're just quiet, that's fine. That's great. Just knowing you're here, I can see the view count. It makes me feel really good knowing you guys are, are uh, watching. Um, if you enjoy it, please let me know. Leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, or consider subscribing. And uh, this is Sprocket saying thanks for coming along on this adventure, and I do hope to catch you in the next one. Take care. Thank you.